Dear kindergartners, after winter, the next season is spring. Here, spring means the time of the year when flowers bloom. Spring arrives gradually, bit by bit, beginning in mid March, and it continues through the months of April and May. The air warms and the ground begins to thaw. The snow and ice begin to melt or thaw, and the ground is no longer hard and frozen because the days are longer and there is more sunlight. The rivers and streams fill with water from all of the melted snow and ice. Tiny green leaves appear on some tree branches. A few new plants may also start to peek up out of the soil here and there. Hibernating animals wake up from their winter sleep. Did you know that some animals, like bears, sleep most of the time during winter? They hibernate during winter when it's cold and wake up when it becomes warmer in spring. These are all signs that spring has sprung. Spring is here. Spring is a very windy season. Some people say March comes in like a lion and goes out like a lamb. This means that the weather in spring changes from being stormy and windy with the strength and power of a lion in the beginning to calmer and milder by the end. Like a soft, gentle lamb. In fact, the windy beginning of spring is a perfect time to fly a kite. In addition to wind, there are also many rainy days in the early spring, particularly in March and April. I love when I get to wear my rain coat and rain boots because then I can splash in puddles. Sometimes after a spring rain shower, you can see a colorful rainbow in the sky. There is another old saying that tells us April showers bring May flowers. This means that the rains of April help flowering plants to grow big and healthy, so they produce beautiful, fragrant flowers in May and throughout the summer. The world outside truly changes during spring. Flowers are one of the most important signs of spring because they tell you that the plant world has come to life again. Soon, bees will be buzzing among the flowers, birds will be chirping in the leafy trees, and the afternoon hours will be warm and pleasant. Washington, D.C. is famous for the cherry blossoms that bloom here each spring. In April, the cherry trees throughout the city burst into bloom, and millions of brilliant pink and white flowers show that spring is here. My parents and I have a special spring picnic every year under the cherry blossoms. Spring is an important time on farms. For the farmer, it is time to get back out in the fields. The farmer must plow his soil and prepare it for planting. He plows the field in order to stir up the soil's nutrients, that's food for plants, and loosen the ground so that new seeds will be able to take root. When the time is right, the farmer will go through his plowed fields and plant his seeds in neat rows. A couple of weeks later, the field will be brimming with little green seedlings or young plants, and by summer, you won't be able to see the brown soil at all beneath all the big green plants. Spring is also an important time for the animals on the farm. Many animals give birth to new baby animals in the springtime. The barnyard and fields are full of baby animals whose mothers nurse and care for them as they grow. Baby horses, called foals, 
frolic in the fields, lambs nuzzle close to the mother sheep, and ducklings line up and follow their mother duck to the pond. Washington, D.C. was built along the banks of the Potomac River. Banks are the land alongside a river. Rivers usually reach their highest levels during the spring. Melted snow from the surrounding fields and mountains drains into creeks and seeps through the ground to reach the river, where it will eventually flow out to the sea. Sometimes the river water becomes so high it floods or overflows its banks. Several holidays are celebrated during the springtime. On the Christian holiday of Easter, people often go on Easter egg hunts to look for decorated eggs or an Easter basket full of candy. During the Jewish holiday of Passover, special food is served to family and friends at the Passover Seder. The Hindu holiday of Holi is a festival of colors during which people celebrate the colors of springtime by dancing, singing, and sprinkling colored water on each other. Another important holiday, called Memorial Day, is celebrated on the last Monday in May. On this day, we honor the American men and women who have fought and died in different wars to protect the United States. Many people also celebrate Memorial Day with parades, picnics, barbecues, and family gatherings. In Washington, D.C., we have a big concert to celebrate. What is spring like where you live? Is it any different from spring in Washington, D.C.? Your friend, Annie.